we're seeing some of our clients buy properties for 50 to 100 grand less than they would have bought just last year. Majority of our clients don't buy condominiums, but some do, that's their choice. With the renewals of interest rates, where they are jumping from 2% to fives and plus, the cash flow on these condominiums is in the negative for many, many people in the GTA. And so they're making this decision, do we continue to carry this property as a negative cash flow investment, or do we just sell the property and in many cases sell it for much lower than they had originally anticipated? For some of these condo sellers, it's a lose-lose situation. It's like choose your poison. Neither of these is desirable, but do you want to keep losing a thousand dollars a month in cash flow or are you willing to just sell the property for 50 grand less than you had hoped and then just be done with this scenario. So this is where right now, especially in that downtown core, of those uh, 6,000 units that are for sale, Gary, be interesting to see how many of those are owner occupied versus investor my guess is that the vast majority probably 60 70 percent of those are in fact investors trying to sell their property there it comes down to more of a numbers thing well, there's certainly emotion involved when you're losing potentially money either on a monthly basis or on a loss of a sale but there's a little bit less emotion involved and therefore if you're a buyer who's especially an end user who's looking to move in get your foot on the property ladder we're seeing some of our clients buy properties for 50 to 100 grand less than they would have bought just last year at this point in the condominium market.